give the team some good minutes today. Just what do you think of what you were able to bring out there uh, in this game? Um, uh, I'm glad of the energy I brought that I could bring for my team. But other than that, I'm not really worried about how I played. Um, just trying to focus on, you know, getting better, getting the guys a little bit more gelled, and just getting a little bit more solid as a team. What do you, what do you think the team learns from an experience like this, going up a, a, a veteran team on the road? Um, physicality for sure, experience. Like we played against a lot of older dudes for sure. So I feel like with this one, we just got to learn how like physical it's going to be. Like it's not going to be easy, especially when you get on the road. We're going to play a bunch of older guys, dudes that's almost 25. So we got to grow. We got to grow up too. We got to put our big, big boy pants on and go bang with them. So yeah, that's kind of what we took from it. Um, I'm trying to tell everyone keep your heads up. Like it's just an exhibition game. Like this is what we needed, you know. So. We're moving on from it in a positive attitude. Dre, you're, you're one of the only two guys on, on the roster from last year. You know, and as, as, a, as a guy coming back up from last year, you feel your role. And it's like I saw you in the game uh, earlier when Will missed a shot and you kind of picked him up. You gave him some, uh, mm -hmm. some love and some top in it. So yeah. What do you see as, as your role as, as a guy coming back? Yeah, no matter how much I play or if I play or not, my biggest role for me is just to be a leader, you know, pick the guys up, um, keep everybody in a positive spirit, positive attitude. And yeah, that's just kind of what I look forward to with this team, is just being a leader uh, more mentally than actually on the court. Brad talked about wanting more defensive leadership uh, from the team in general. Just you feel like you can bring that and, and what needs Most to happen definitely. defensively? I would, yeah, I would say that's probably where we all got to get better at. But me, especially being a better leader on the defensive end, you know, keeping everyone energized, you know. It's a difference when you bring energy and then you get everyone else energized. So um, that's my goal is to get the team energized next week and and just, you know, come out with a little bit more energy, like we're ready to play. Brad said was a little surprised. You guys hadn't been turning the ball over very much in practice. Uh, what do you think led the, to that today? Um, just, we gotta be more physical with each other. I say be more physical to, with each other in practice when we're playing defense in practice as well. Um, so that just goes to show, like, if we're not playing hard enough defense on each other in practice, we come out here, get some real dogs, and that, shows, that just goes to show, like, what's going to happen. So, you know, just us cranking it up a notch in practice, you know, really getting after it, being a little bit more physical, I feel like that'll, that'll help us out, straighten us out for sure. What do you think of the young guys? Oh, I think the young guys are going to be great. You know, it's, it's their first college game. You can never be too up or down with a first college game. You just got to take it and you got to move on. Like, at the end of the day, you got the experience at the next level. So either it's people that are either going to cry and just go sit in the corner or it's people that's going to get up and work. And I can promise you, our younger guys are going to get up and go work about it. It's the biggest thing you take away from the day on your first road trip, first road game, or this season, moving into the real thing next week? Um, kind of got to be more of a leader. Um, just picking my team up more, telling the guys it's right from wrong and doing it in the right way is what's most important. Guess where else is it? Very uh, confident player. How do, you, how do you think today affects him from a mental standpoint? Quite, quite a few turnovers today. It shouldn't. Yeah, it's some good things too, though. Yeah, it shouldn't. And I'll go tell him this a thousand times, bro. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Like, if you like that, all the turnovers, all that stuff is gonna happen. Like, that's just the that's the part of the game. Like, you're not about to average. KJ is good enough. He's not gonna average ten turnovers all season or however many he had. Like, he's gonna go. He's gonna be a good player for us, you know. So. Just it's the matter of him is just, you know, like I said, getting in the gym, working at it, and just, you know, staying positive, you know. And us as a team, we can help and make sure he's that way for sure. He's a pretty confident shooting three ball today. Is it an area of improvement for you this year? Oh, most definitely. Um, you know, this year I say my confidence is just a lot higher. Um, I don't know, like, I just, just confidence is, I say just confidence boost for sure. How about Tommy having him out there? I know uh, didn't have him against Butler. What, what does he bring? And seem to have some good moments tonight. Yeah, he brings a lot of size. Tommy's touch around the rim is like unremarkable. I don't think I've ever seen him shoot a layup. It's just all floaters. <laughs> but um, yeah, Tommy's remarkable big for us. He brings size, length, and uh, could do a lot for us. I'd say him and Merez, when they're in practice, they'd be battling. So yeah, they just got to keep going at it. And then out of Merez and Tommy, we we're going to have two very good bigs, for sure. Did you feel like a veteran suiting up for this one? Like, did it, did it feel more? comfortable, normal for you now going into your second season? Yeah, I'm still kind of a youngin. I'm still a sophomore, but, um, you know, since uh, it's me and Ty coming back, so, you know, like, I got to have that mindset at the same time of, like, yeah, like, you're a veteran. Thanks, Dre. Thank you, guys.